Hi guys. Hi Sandy. Hi Rosie. I hope you guys are all enjoying this beautiful day. It's so pretty out there today. Excuse me, I have a lozenge in my mouth. Cindy brought me these last time she was here. Remember me telling you guys that I have dry mouth really bad through some of my medications? And I had that ACT dry mouthwash. For, well, mouthwash for dry mouth. And I've used all of it. And I also have the BioT for dry mouth. But um, these are ACT dry mouth lozenges. I've got seven left. And they do help. They do help. I just don't know if it's going to help very good this time. Because it's about boring. My mouth still feels very dry. But I think we have a good reading today. And me and Tulip's ready. She got her hair and tail all done, her mane. And I got my hair all done for you guys. It took me a few hours to get this done. To look like this, you know. To get my groove on. To be on fleek, as they say these days. See, I was just cool right then because I said it on fleek. I'm in with the in crowd. I'm the cool kid. Or am I kidding myself? Tulip's the cool one. I'm never going to be cool. <laughs> sure was looking at me like I'm insane. I am insane. Today, oh, it's just so pretty out there. I am so excited because tomorrow we get to watch baby Olsen again, our little nephew. Sherm has an appointment tomorrow, but he'll be back. He, it'll only last him about an hour, hopefully. He was later last time, but um, hopefully he'll be back so he can spend time with us. Um, we get to watch Olsen, so super excited about that. He'll be here from like 10.30 in the morning till probably 4 or 6 in that evening. And then when Melly comes back to get him, she's bringing the three older kids, Ken, or Kaylee, Toby, and Gabe. And I haven't seen them in over a year. So super excited to see them. I got them all a gift. So happy to see them. I can just picture little Kaylee running up and giving me a hug. I just keep picturing that in my head. She used to be so afraid of me because, you know, I wasn't around, we wasn't around each other. But now she's like, she'll hug me and she wants to, you know, have stuff to do with me. She'll stay with me by herself if Nellie has to go to the store or something. I haven't seen her in over a year, so hopefully she's still, still not afraid of me. But let's get started with this Bible reading. I've already read through it. I'm sorry. But um, I read through it already. I think it's a great reading. And the psalm is absolutely beautiful today, which I say that every day. But Let's begin here. If you would like to follow along, we will be reading John chapter 10, verses 22 through 42 in the New International Version. Is my own fleek wig coming off? It feels like it is. Oh, sorry, that's not a wig. I had my hair done for you guys. Remember, it took hours. It's not a wig. Further conflict over Jesus' claims. Jesus teaching in the temple courts, and they keep asking him if he's the Messiah, if he's the Son of God. And he keeps telling them, I tell you, but you don't believe me. You only believe when you see signs. But then when I tell you, you don't believe. And then they always want to try to pick up rocks and stone him and kill him. And then because he's talking blasphemy because he's saying he's the son of God. And he's saying that he is God. And So we're anxious to see what the Pharisees and teachers of the law have to say about Jesus today. So let's get started here. Then came the festival of dedication at Jerusalem. It was winter, and Jesus was in the temple courts, walking 
in Solomon's colonnade, the Jews who were there gathered around him saying, How long will he keep us in suspense? If you are the Messiah, tell us plainly. Jesus answered, I did tell you that you do not believe. The works I do in my Father's name testify about me, but you do not believe because you are not my sheep. My sheep listen to my voice. I know them, and they follow me. I give them eternal life, and they shall never perish. No one will snatch them out of my hand. My Father, who has given them to me, is greater than all. No one can snatch them out of my Father's hand. I and the Father are one. Again, his Jewish opponents picked up stones to stone him. But Jesus said to them, I have shown you many good works from the Father. For which of these do you stone me? We are not stoning you for any good work, they replied, but for blasphemy, because you are a mere man who claims to be the Son of God. Jesus answered them, It is not written in your law. I have said, Is it not written in your law? I have said, You are gods. If he called them gods, to whom the word of God came, and scripture cannot be set aside. What about the one whom the Father set apart as his very own and sent into the world? Why then do you accuse me of blasphemy because I said I am God's son? Do not believe unless I do the works of my Father. But if I do them, even though you do not believe me, believe the works that you may know and understand that the Father is in me and I in the Father. Again they tried to seize him, but he escaped their grasp. Then Jesus went back across the Jordan to the place where John had been baptizing in the early days. There he stayed, and many people came to him. They said, though John never performed a sign, all that John said about this man was true. And in that place, many believed in Jesus. And that's where we're going to stop with John today. Wasn't that a good reading in John? Today I thought it was wonderful. And tell me when I'm done if this is not a beautiful psalm. Psalm 116. It's got 19 verses, I believe, I've seen. Yes. So if you want to sit back and close your eyes and just listen to the words to our Lord, it's a beautiful song. If not, that's fine too. But let's begin. I love the Lord, for He heard my voice. He heard my cry for mercy. Because He turned His ear to me, I will call on him as long as I live. The cords of death entangled me. The anguish of the grave came over me. I was overcome by distress and sorrow. Then I called on the name of the Lord. Lord, save me. The Lord is gracious and righteous. Our God is full of compassion. The Lord protects the unwary. When I was brought low, he saved me. Return to your rest, my soul, for the Lord has been good to you. For you, Lord, have delivered me from death, my eyes from tears, my feet from stumbling, that I may walk before the Lord in the land of the living. I trusted in the Lord when I said, I am greatly afflicted. In my alarm, I said, everyone is a liar. What shall I return to the Lord for all his goodness to me? I will lift up the cup of salvation and call on the name of the Lord. I will fulfill my vows to the Lord in the presence of all his people. Precious in the sight of the Lord is the death of his faithful servants. Truly, I am your servant, Lord. I serve you just as my mother did. You have freed me from my chains. 
I will sacrifice a thank offering to you and call on the name of the Lord. I will fulfill my vows to the Lord in the presence of all his people, in the courts of the house of the Lord, in your midst, Jerusalem. Praise the Lord. You may open your eyes. That was Psalm 116. Now tell me, was that not a beautiful psalm? I think it was absolutely beautiful. In our Proverbs for today, we got two Proverbs. Proverbs chapter 15, verses 20 and 21. A wise son brings joy to his father, but a foolish man despises his mother. Folly brings joy to one who has no sense, but whoever has understanding keeps a straight course. Okay, guys, that was our Bible reading. Let's get out our prayer books. Okay. We need to keep Sandy in prayer. She will be having eye surgery this month. And she's really scared about it. And they really can't, you know, they can't put her to sleep or anything for it because she can't do anesthesia. So they're only going to be able to use numbing drops in her eyes. So please pray for her. And she also needs prayers for strength and comfort because she has a lot of responsibility on her shoulders. She has a lot to do and a lot to worry about. She's got a lot of people under her, you know. To, so she's under always under a lot of stress. Let's keep Eric in our prayers and Kenny Wellman in our prayers because they both are young men and they both desperately need a kidney. Let's keep Macy in our prayers. She has a brain tumor. She's only 16. They're having a benefit for her this week and Saturday this weekend. Um, my aunt is helping her grandma with it. And my other aunt, Cindy, she's making, she just made some big homemade rolls for them to take to sell down there. They're having a Chinese auction and um, having bands come in and all kinds of stuff. I don't know what all they're doing. I think it's going to be in Jackson somewhere. Or it might be in Chillicothe. I'm really not sure, but I think it's going to be in Jackson. We need to keep Barb Post in our prayers. She's home. And as far as I know, she's still doing good on her way to recovering still. Let's keep Melly in our prayers. She's still on antibiotics, of course, for her stomach. And the surgeon said, you know, for her just to keep taking the antibiotics. Um, Christopher Serbak, we need to keep him in prayer. He's doing good. I heard from him um, yesterday, or day before yesterday, actually. Um, Mom went down and got him and brought him to the house for a while, her house, to see Ab. And um, he said he, he told me, well, he had Ab tell me that he was feeling better, but he will be sick, you know, all his life from this disease. But he said he's feeling better. You know how some days are worse than others. We need to keep Ona Whetstone in prayer. You know, she has throat cancer, skin cancer all over her, and she has congestive heart failure all the time. Oh, you know, whenever it acts up, and she's in her 80s. But she is home, so I'm happy she is home now with her little dog and her um, grandson, I think it is. She really loves that boy a lot. We need to pray for Sherman Crabtree, my husband. He went to the chiropractor today and got adjusted again. The pain under his stomach is, how is it today, Sherman? So-so today. The other day, the pain was gone. Then yesterday, it started coming back again. So let's keep praying, because the God made the prayers, the prayers, God made his stomach pain go away. But um, now it's back again, so let's keep praying for Sherm to quit hurting underneath his stomach. And he needs prayers because his back and his head, just his whole general health, he needs prayers for. 
and for com and for comfort because he doesn't his family doesn't is not very supportive and they don't really have anything to do with him and as you know that's pretty heartbreaking I wish that would change please keep Jennifer Harrington in your prayers please keep Bridget Boggs in your prayers she's still doing good as far as I know with her stomach now God's continuing to heal her so let's keep them prayers coming for her let's pray for April and Linda Thacker who both have a lot of health problems Let's pray for Roy and Lori Mollett, who both have a lot of health problems, and Debbie Lee and Tammy Ashworth, who both have a lot of health problems, and Debbie will be having surgery next month in June. Rick Post, because he's in a lot of pain, and his birthday was yesterday. Looked like he turned 60 years old yesterday. That's my uncle, by the way. Um, let's pray for Josh Mollett, Vidalia Mercer, and their unborn baby Braxton. I found out yesterday on one of the pictures that she sent to somebody that my cousin with Josh was tagged in that she is 29 weeks right now. Which I thought she should be more than that, but since she was like 28 the last I had heard, but um, the, the picture said she was 29 weeks. And let's pray for um, Joe Osborne because he'll be getting out of rehab in a week or two. And he'll be the prayers most of all then. He'll need God to be with them. Definitely. Because it'll be really hard for him for when he gets out. Because all the bad influence, you know. He don't have that while he's in there. It's why he's doing so good. But when he gets out, that's going to be the problem. So that's what we really need to pray for. Brother Jesus and Father, please watch over all the people that need prayer. Please be with each and every single one of them. We know that you love them more than we ever could. And you know what they need more than we do. You know what they need more than they know themselves. And we know that you know the future, Brother Jesus and Father. So you know what is best. So your will be done as always. Please watch over the people watching or listening to this video. Please let it touch at least one of their hearts so they can spread your word to someone else and hopefully we'll get your word out there more and more father we love you brother jesus and father with all of our hearts and souls amen amen okay guys now i'm going to get out our get out our uh, homework we're a day behind because our video cut off last time so we're still on the 17th here so your homework question for last night was, which book in the Bible contain which of the first books in the Bible contains the verses where the Israelites were in the desert for 40 years? And your answer should be Exodus. And that's, you know, where they start talking about Moses and stuff in the book of Exodus, the second book of the Bible. So that's the answer you should have got if you got it. High five. All right, guys, tonight's homework. What is the fifth commandment? That is it. Look at my wig or my hair. My hair is coming undone. that wasn't that embarrassing it took hours to get this done to get my hair this collar and this curly and it's trying my hair is trying to come off my scalp horrible what is the fifth commandment that is your homework for tonight guys um, remember no cheating you can't go to ask.com or google or just try to look up the answer you have to find it in your Bible or, or your Bible online or already know the answer to get credit for it. I won't know if you do it or not, but God will. So that's your homework for tonight. What is the fifth commandment? So that was everything for today, guys. 
I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. Let's bring those souls to Jesus. And God willing, I'll see you guys again tomorrow with another Bible reading. Bye, guys. God bless.